Hi guys, Martin here, Man City Fan TV. How are we all doing this Thursday evening? It's Thursday, I've got my days right today. Hope we're all having a fantastic day, ready for the weekend. The weekend is finally a bonus, you know, just leave that out of the way. Show my city, my city shirt, still here. Let me just move it all onto, out of the way. Don't have to worry about that. <laughs> As Andy puts it, tent. <laughs> anyway, guys, how are we all doing? Hope oh, we're all having a fantastic evening. Gonna say a few hellos. I've got happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> this is from Game This. Happy Halloween, everyone. They're helping the scouts of the VAR and they'll do it with the fixtures. Gonna go into that. Andy's on. LFC will make any excuse they can. The Premier League, UEFA. FIFA will do everything they can to accommodate Liverpool joke. Let's give them up last night. Uh, last night's win to Arsenal. If Klopp hates the Carabao Cup like he does, f them. Strong words from uh, Andy there. Strong words. Edward Denham is on. Hi guys. Hope you're good, Edward. So yeah, today we're going to talk about. The uh, Carabao Cup quarter-final draw. We're in again. We are quarter-final. We love it. Please let me know how the audio is. I have got my headphones here ready. I might put them on. Because I can never tell. Can't you never hear yourself properly? I'll put them on. Ready anyway. So they're on. Let me just pop them in. That better? That's better. Lovely. Right, guys. Hope you can hear me well now. Um, yeah. Going to talk about the Carabao Cup. Quarterfinals. Been drawn. Against a familiar foe. We've been, it, we've been there before. A little bit of deja vu. Um, we're going to talk about the FA. His investigation into Liverpool Football Club. And the scouting network. Hacking of our scouting network. I'm going to talk about some... Um, Transfer news updates, and we're also going to touch on your questions and answers, and a couple of other points that we're going to bring up as well. So let's get into a few hellos again. Uh, Edward Dinner, Martin, I'm eating lollipops for Halloween. Got to. It's the night when all the ghosts and the ghouls are out. I've not, I've not dressed up today. My face is scary enough for you all. Believe me. Could be worse though. Could have been Andy's face. Which one do you want? My face, Andy's face. Which one's the, you know, more suited to Halloween? I know. <laughs> Edward Denham, audio is perfect. Good, good, good. Right, guys. Let's have a look then. First, I'm going to talk about the Carabao Cup quarter final draw has been made. City have been drawn away. To Oxford United. Ties to be played. I think it's commencing the week of December the 16th. Um, you know, down in Oxford for Christmas. Um, what can we say? So, yeah, Oxford United. How do we all think about that? Are we happy with that draw? Are we not happy with that draw? How do we all think? So, yeah, let us know. What do you think? I'm quite happy with it, really. I, I'm um, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy indeed of it. Quite happy with that. So, is it a bind to the um, is it a bind to the um, quarter? Not quarter finals, semi finals. I don't know. Tell me what you think. What's your predictions? I think it's a good game for the um, youngsters to be played again. Which is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, hopefully see Tommy Doyle again. Foden. Um, Eric Garcia. Taylor Howard Bellis. Uh, maybe Bernabe. Let's get these youngsters in. Let's take them down. I wouldn't. I'd take a mixture down at Oxford. Personally. Um, get through to the semi-final. Obviously United are through. Liverpool. <laughs> Do they want to be in the Carabao Cup? Don't really know. Let's have a look. Uh, get back into it, then we'll talk about Liverpool in there. What did Klopp say today? If they have to give up the Carabao Cup if he doesn't care, like Andy says, screw him. K 
can I really block Martin on a live vlog? No, you can't. Sorry, and uh, come on. You did say my shirt was a tent. Come on, I'm trying to lose weight as well. <laughs> Football fan chat, Oxford United nil, Manchester City 5 is his prediction. He might be a little bit sore today, GM. They got beat by United. You shouldn't be getting beat by Ole. Ole at the wheel. Told you, Ole's at the wheel of a dumper truck, not a football team. Um, GITAR35, hope you're good this Thursday, pal. Oxford again, yep. I remember Stockport, Iniesta was a man of the match last time, yeah, and Maris had a really good game. Edward Denning, Martin, do you think Ray's a Halloween ghoul? <laughs> oh, Edward, 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 I'm not getting into that, butter. I'm not going down that road. Uh, I am uh, I am LAMFY, all is well, good, good, good. So, Liverpool apparently want are gonna they've obviously got this cl world club trophy you know if they win it they'll be the best team in the world you know they're already the best team in Europe they're not the best team in England but they're the best team in Europe go figure because last time I checked England was in Europe not according to Liverpool though and apparently Klopp uh, their date's gonna clash there is no midweek games available um, from now up until the time the quarterfinals are played in December. So, what can I say? Carl Blundell, hi. Uh, GITF35, I miss Ray. Well, not much I can do about Buddha. You know, tough. You got me. Football fan chat, 2-1 United against Colchester's barely getting though. Uh, get 2-1 United against Colchester, barely getting through, in my opinion. Do Villa have a chance against Liverpool? What happens to the other teams if Liverpool pull out Arsenal through while Villa through to the Semis? That would be a very good question. Um, they'll probably find somewhere doing it. The FA, they will, trust me. Um, Cam Blundell, J he's on the Death Star, so go and watch him. It's up to him, mate, if he wants to watch him. You know. Um... And it also see Kim's latest FIFA video. Yes, Kim's latest FIFA career video. It's up live on the channel, guys. Go and give it a watch. It is absolutely wonderful. If you like me, I play FIFA. I love FIFA. Um, I've got every single FIFA for the last eight, nine years. Um, Kim will tell you. I'll try my best. We do have a little try sometimes in pro clubs, Man City, uh, Fan TV. But... Get over there, have a watch. Kiam uh, does some wonderful, wonderful things over there for FIFA. And also, the Premier League prediction video is up, guys. Go and give that a watch. Go and give it a, a listen. It's me, and uh, Kiam and Ryan Curry's predictions for the weekend. I've had a blind of the last two weeks, so please let that carry on. I'm, uh, I'll give everyone a little bit of an head start. Now I'm coming up strong. And let's hopefully, uh, I can catch you all and go top. But we'll wait and see. Uh, Edward Denham, Mr. Klopp, fix your tea before complaining about fixtures. Exactly. Um, Andy, GTR, go and watch his channel there. Exactly, I didn't want to say it, but J GTR, if you're not happy with what, we've, what we're doing here, go and watch his and his 500 people. We've got what, just over 10,000. Um, I imagine Arsenal will play Villa if Liverpool forfeit. Yeah, I would imagine that. I mean, Liverpool, what a game last night. Wow. 5-5, five, five. wow, um, great advert for the Carbao Cup, really, really good, really, really good advert, it's a shame if maybe you were like us, both teams, and played a stronger team, but, um, you know, they've both done it, um, Carblund, Cadwood, Denham, uh, Carblundell, what you think of Davis and Pickford, Carl will tell you, Edward, believe me, uh, football fan chat, Kim's videos are brilliant, they are absolutely brilliant out of this world, get over there, totally agree with you GM, uh, Carl Blundell with Carlison makes, me, makes a happy human, <laughs> is that your favourite player Cal, uh, Rick Carlson is that good, he makes Salah and Manny clean his socks, I don't think he's that good Cal, calm down a bit, You're in the bottom three aren't you, both garbage if I'm honest, I presume he's talking Arsenal and Liverpool there. I don't know. Are you talking about the players? I don't know. Let me know, Ander. Ivor's on. Evening, Ivor. How are we doing, buddy? Loving your vinyl, Ander. Mr. Tweets says I've had to 
I'm about, I've just had to cover my pond up because of firework freaks. Yeah, please stay safe at this time of year. Um, if you like me, you've got pets. I've got um, dogs, cats, lizard, partridge in a pear tree. A um, couple of kids and a wife. <laughs> it's a good job she ain't watching. Um, <laughs> you know, please stay safe. Um, shouldn't be safe with fireworks, especially if you're going to any displays. Please be safe. Um, let's have a look. Football fan chat, Carl Blundell. Hi, Edward Denham. Andy, are you talking about Salomani or Davis and Pickford? Yep, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Kim, cheers, guys. Not a problem, but Kim's dressed up, ready for his Halloween to do it big over there in America and Canada, I know, I'd love to be over there, I've been over there once in America in October time, it's out, out of this world, and their costumes, wow, wow, uh, and their vinyls are out tonight, either Beatles, Beatles, Otis, Sam Crook, and Bob, I presume you mean Bob Marley, Carl Lundell, Andy, are you talking about Liverpool and Arsenal, <laughs> Sanjay J, hi guys, how are you doing Sanjay, hope you're good this Thursday buddy, uh, and it says nope, will the cats be making an appearance on the live vlog Mr Martin from Edward, no they're not, they're locked out today, I'm not getting my uh, legs scratched again, by the way my throat's getting a lot better, so I think a bit of much, uh, where is Mark the Blue, no idea, uh, Carl Blundell, Tom Davis is brilliant but Pickford makes one a set silver on fire, Davis, Tom Davis is a very good player. I remember he scored a brace against us two or three years ago when they beat us 4 0. Cow still got that t shirt. We beat Man City 4 0. Um, but he hasn't done much since. Not heard much from him since. Kim, I don't celebrate. I'm, sa I'm safely on the 11th floor in my apartment. Nobody knocking on. Is, is this the night the lift, the elevator? You call it over there. The lift gets deactivated, Kim. Both average counts, says uh, and uh, Right, guys, so we talked about the um, Carabao Cup. The next thing we're going to talk about is the FA Investor Agation. Apparently, the FA are going to investigate. Um, I've opened an investigation into this. Um, I have opened an investigation in terms of um, Liverpool FC. Because they have been a little bit naughty and it's been put under the carpet a little bit. But the FA have asked Liverpool to explain a £1 million payment to Manchester City in a spying round. Um, apparently Liverpool have allegedly hacked into our scouting system. This was in the Times, this by the way, guys. Liverpool employees who had joined the club from City allegedly logged into their rival Scout 7 database on numerous occasions back in 2013. And City were furious when obviously they found that out. Which you're going to be, you're going to be absolutely fuming about it, aren't you? The allegations against Liverpool are that employees Dave Fallows and Julian Ward used to log in details of Man City Scout Rob Newman. So they've, they've gone on and falsified someone there, haven't they? To access his Scout 7 account without his knowledge. And apparently it goes on in the Times that the report Man City have already provided evidence of the hacking to the FA, including reports from a forensic computer expert. And apparently the £1 million settlement, which was reportedly agreed without the FA's involvement, could mean that the Reds avoid any further sanctions. But if the FA decide that Liverpool have breached their rule... Now this is the rule, guys that each club shall behave towards each other club and the league with the utmost good faith, then there could be further punishments heading their way. So this is going to come down to whether the FA have deemed that Liverpool have acted in good faith to Manchester City with this £1 million um, payment they've made for it. Uh, goes on, even even though the alleged incident happened over six years ago, there is still a worry that Liverpool could face further sanctions. Furthermore, the incident doesn't really portray Liverpool in a positive light in terms of PR. So, what can you say about that? I mean, what can you say? You know, they're at it again, they're at it all the time with us, thinking that they can just come in, Change the rules. Rules don't apply to Liverpool. They got away with the bus scandal when they hit our fans with buses. Um, I just don't understand. I just don't understand why they keep getting away with things. And hopefully the FA will be clever enough 
they're not going to allow this to happen. So guys, what do you think about that? Let's have a look at some of your comments um, here going forward. Let's have a look. Um, Iber, Man City Fan TV got a, a Les Zepp night lined up under. Um, Harry Dawson, paying yet again to get any get an easy draw. Presume you're not a City fan, paying yet again to get an easy draw. You were just, well, funnily enough, we're just talking about how you paid us because you've hacked into our scouting system. So are you cheating again? Carl Blundell, Tom Davis, Ronaldo, Chuck Tostamendi, what a day that was. And uh, we never get any kids at the door. We're one mile away from our other house, thank God. <laughs> Zach Jags, evening fella, Oxford 1, City 1 is my prediction. Wow. Are you City fan, Liverpool fan? I don't know which fan you're going to be, pal. Um, section is on evening, all how you doing, section. Uh, Edward Denham, Klopp needs investigating, to be honest, Martin. Totally agree with Edward, they do. Um, I'll smack mine on later. Uh, Carl and Dell David Platt is better than Klopp. It's a big statement, Carl, that, isn't it? Uh, Lamphy, we won't be leaving any of this season. JTR 35, 30 points deduction. Mm, no, it won't really happen. Should happen, but it won't happen. Edward Denham, what does utmost good faith mean? More nonsense from the FA. It's the FA rule, apparently, that, uh, Edward, in terms of you're meant to act with respect and good faith between each club. And if you have made an error, you're meant to sort it out between yourselves sometimes. But is a million pound fair for hacking when we've um, had our database hacked and things like that and we're being threatened to be chucked out of the Champions League? It's all word and intent. You know, when the financial fair play is talked about with us, the word hacked isn't used. Um, the word hacked is now being used, so there we go. Um, Carl Blundell, we gave Pep his biggest defeat ever. We are basically the best team ever. Don't talk about that game after that, any game after that. <laughs> Carl, 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 you're living on it still, aren't you, mate? We got our t shirt in the frame yet? Uh, either Nabi Kate is growing injury, Phil. I see that's one down more to come. I don't ever. Well, I know what you mean either, but I never wish injuries on to other players. Um, you know, celebrates his leg, it'd be nice. Carl <laughs> uh, Dell, my prediction is City 751, Oxford nil. <laughs> I like it, Carl. Was enough, that'd be, what, 90 minutes, 751 goals. More than 10 goals a minute, that, mate. Nearly, no, just under about eight. Eight points from it. Goals a minute. <laughs> Can we do that? Leonard London, evening everyone. How you doing, Leonard? Hope you're good, bud. Ed Cowell, uh, Blundell, David Platt has never slipped a, pre never slipped a premiership up. He's never won one. That's why, Cal. <laughs> do you know who David Platt is, Martin? Of course I know who David Platt is. Assistant manager to Roberto Mancini. I ain't that daft, pal. Um, Harry Dawson, what about FFP? Any points deduction with City? City done a lot more. Harry Dawson's obviously a Liverpool fan. <sighs> done a lot more. Why have you got some evidence there, Harry? Some evidence? We're giving you facts and evidence. What are you giving us? Paper talk. Yeah, paper talk. Is that before the financial fair play rules were changed to punish City? Yeah. Shouldn't you be over at Clanfield watching their channels? Oh, you've come over to us because you're obsessed. Uh, Lona Beats, evening to all the Blues out there. How are you doing, bud? Leonard London, still don't know the draw. <laughs> Oxford United, you do know the draw, Leonard. I've said it a thousand times. Edward Denham, good evening, Lona Beats. Section, FFP, exactly. Um, the call of the uniform. Cal Blundell, that 4-0 win will go to the grave with me. <laughs> It's got it in a frame. Edward Denham, Martin and Cal, what do you predict for Everton versus Spurs? I've gone for 2-2, two -two, Edward. 2-2 two -two for that one. Cal Blundell, David Platt, the god, the god of Coronation Street. <laughs> uh, that's why Ryan's on. He's watching the, the Coronation Street omnibus. Either I'll celebrate every <laughs> Liverpool injury like they celebrate our injuries. What goes around comes around. More than fair if you want to do that, Buddha. Edward Ryan Corry joined the live vlog and stopped watching Corra. He's on the omnibus, I told you. Leonard, uh, thanks Martin and the rest of the um, thanks Martin and the rest of the draw. United have got an easy United have got an hard game. 
Colchester United. Um, so that'll probably be United, us, Liverpool, have got Aston Villa. Um, and who did Leicester get? Don't know what Leicester got. Top of my head, it's gone completely out of my head. But yeah, there you go. That helps. David Pratt's nephew played for my team. His dad's a top race horse. David Pratt. Do you not like David Pratt there, Ander? Cam Lundell wish we spent money well and don't lose to Burnley and Brighton in the same month. Harry Dawson. I'm coming here because I watch all football debates. Just a fan of football. Shouldn't mind if I'm a Liverpool fan. Totally fine, Harry. Come along, but... If you're going to give us information, give us fact. Don't give us something you've read out the back of the sun. That's the thing. We've had loads of debates on FFP. If you want to come, come on, join us by all means. As long as it's, we don't mind banter. But have a look at some of our older videos. We've, we've had financial experts on the, on the channel about this. We haven't done anything wrong FFP-wise. So, you know, but you don't want to change the rules every time just to suit us. Because remember, ask yourself a question, Harry. Why was FFP set up and who set it up? Certain cartels set it up. Certain set of uh, players and clubs. Tells you a lot there, Harry. You know, the chief exec of UEFA was David Gill. Who was he the chief exec of as well? Manchester United. Tells you a lot there. Uh, I meant Pratt. <laughs> Cal Blundell. Man U will lose to Colchester. I hope so. Cal Blundell, yeah, Everton have got Leicester. That's who. Um, you're welcome, Harry. Just don't be a knob and you're welcome. Exactly. Edward Denham, Harry Dawson, pipe down with your nonsense. <laughs> You'll get a warm welcome, Harry, I'll tell you that. Uh, either, obviously, Oxford not big or powerful enough to uh, arrange a boarding city in the cup like the Dippers and the Rags. We'll beat them in the final, mate. Rags the toughest. Leonard Beats, financial fair player, will be back once we win the league. Exactly. Edward Denham, absolutely, Martin. We haven't breached our first pay. Exactly. You know... Let's have a look at it. Give us facts. There's still no facts. And funnily enough, it only goes... It only comes up when City are either going into a semi-final or they've gone into a final or they've gone top of the league or they've winning a trophy. When City were eight points behind Liverpool, not a word. Not a word. It was coming out... And if anyone here wants to double-check and let me know, um, I can't remember what month it was. I'm sure Andy or Kim or one of you great people let me know um we were, we were 24 hours away 40 hours away of it being um banned from europe three months on nothing so don't always believe everything you read it's chip shit it's it's tomorrow's new tomorrow's um uh, chip shop uh pay pop always remember that um edward then you have done that one right guys next one we're going to talk about we're going to talk about some transfer news. No, nope, we're not talking about that. We've already talked about that one. We're going to talk about some transfer news with this bloke. Rodrigo Bentaker. Juventus player. Now, apparently Manchester City have been strongly linked with this young guy. And apparently really, really wanted him. And today was in the MEN. Um, they're reporting it from the Calcio Met uh, Mercato which I presume is a news outlet over in Italy, that Manchester City have failed in a bid to sign Juventus midfielder Rodrigo Bantaker in the summer. And it's also in the Carella della Sport. The talented Uruguayan is a jack of all trades in the midfield with ability to play lovely passes, but not afraid to get involved in the game's darker jobs as well as being extremely versatile. Goes on to say it's no surprise that Bantica has attracted attention with Barcelona also reportedly interested. But according to the report, it was Sitter who made a move, but Juventus rejected the offer out of hand. Goes on, the young 22-year-old has been an ever-present in the side as he was last due to a, a, um, due to the added competition in midfield. Because uh, obviously Juventus have added Ramza, uh, Rabio, and it's claimed that City could return in the midfield as tracks once again with improved offers. When Juventus would once again reevaluate the situation. So, there we go with that one. That's another one we've been linked with. Now, the only thing I've got to say about this is how many midfielders have we got? How many midfielders have we got? It is ridiculous. We have got 
loads and loads and loads of midfielders. So you bring in this guy. Where's he going? Who are you selling? That's my, who are you selling? I mean, Andy spoke about his loads. We've got so many, many um, midfielders. I don't know where you're putting everybody. Where's everybody going to go? I don't know. Um, sorry about that. I had a hair in my eye. Where's everyone going to go? I don't know. Um, so it's fine being linked with midfielders, but you got Rod Ray, you got De Bruyne, Bernardo, Sane still here. Um, tells you a lot, so I don't always believe everything that I read. Um, let's get into some of your comments. Um, Section Highland, we are going to talk about that. Um, I well, uh, UEFA would love to see City charged. The hard facts are they do not have proof we would have been charged by now. Simple. Exactly, Ivor. Edward Denham, Juventus got the better of us so far with a Danilo for Cancelo. Swap, just my opinion, all entitled to it, Edward, but I like Cancelo. And I think, you know, he's been here four or five games. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. I did like Danilo, though. Um, so, let's wait and see. Wait and see with Cancelo far too early to make a judgment for me. Section UEFA have a barefaced cheek to talk about corruption. Bent is a nine but <laughs> bent is a nine pound note. I don't need to say anything more to that, do a section. Zach Jags, how are you doing? Oxford fan, please come on, join us. Um we are top scorers in England, 4 0 winners against West Ham side that have Zabaleta in as well as Haller off the bench. We have some elite midfield and wing backs, that's why I said one one. Oh, so you're an Oxford fan. More than fair, 1-1. One, one. Um, that's your opinion. Hope you have a great time. I don't... You, I don't... Yeah, I don't know how to sound this to make it sound very um, arrogant. Because one thing people will tell you about me, I am not arrogant at all. I can, a City fan, I have been there through the bad times. I was there when you beat us um, with Jemson's goal back at Main Road. Um, so, I have seen the hard times. But I think you're being... A, we're, we're totally different to West Ham. Zabalet is one of their best players. A god to us, a legend, but we got rid of him. So just remember that. Zach, um, you know, I think we beat, we beat you last year coming to Belet. I think you're going to be lucky. I mean, best, I think you could hope for as a draft coming back to the Etihad. Which you can't, I'll just... Boom, forget it, start again. Can't do, because it's the Carabao Cup. It'll go to penalties. I'm losing the plot. <laughs> <laughs> but Zach, maybe come and join us. Come and join the channel if you want. Um, I think let's have a look. Um, well, Andy's put up the emails for you to get in contact with us, buddy. So come along, join us. Maybe get you on for a preview. Uh, LAMFY, I'm waiting over 10 goals for City against Tot at Oxford. <laughs> Section 1 1 at half time, maybe. Ian Beats, too many. Harry Dawson. Be chatted, so I don't know. Um, Edward uh, Martin will play ratings for Liverpool game beyond the 11th of November. It's the 9th. Is that a Saturday or Sunday? I can't know. It's on the 9th. It'll probably be on the Monday. It'll be on the Monday, Edward. Um, I am beat. Sign is still to come back also. I think I don't think he'll come back. Just my opinion. I am beat. So I don't think he will come on back. Um, I just love watching our youngsters against Aston Villa. Yep, quite agree. Section going to play 11 midfielders. Exactly how many more we have in. Um, Edison can't play goalie on mid. <laughs> oh, sorry, he can play goalie in mid. Edison can play anywhere. Harry Dawson, from a Liverpool perspective, should sit to criticise, prioritise the Champions League, and would you rather win the UEFA Champions League over the Premier League? Premier League all day. I've said this to you, win at home first. We haven't got the the affiliation to it that you obviously have and that's us but you know yeah we've won it three four times now the Premier League we want to build a dynasty like Man United did and uh, other teams have we want to win the league three in the bounce only one team's done that in uh, Ferguson Pep wants to do that we want this Premier League so if you're asking me which one do most City fans prefer Premier League all day long all day long um, I vote so I think it's a glorified FA Cup you don't have to be the best to win it. You don't have to be the best in the world to win it. It's it's like a cup competition. It's who wants it better on the night. You know, when Chelsea beat Barcelona, he's telling me Chelsea are better than Barcelona? Not, not a chance. Porto won it, but they're the best team in Europe? Not a chance. You know, oh, do it over a 38-game marathon, not over a 
12 game knockout competition. That's my only issue on it, Harry. Um, section Premier League, UEFA game. UEFA Champions League glorified cup competition exactly Leonard City are the best well run F football club in the world fact totally agree with you there and uh, contact is mcfcfantv at gmail.com yeah if you want to come on Man City Fan TV and chat about the uh, Carabao Cup game and uh, there you go uh, Iron Beats I like Cancelo too very versatile being able to play left and right back I want to see more of his attacking si uh, side though think you will do you will do iron beats jtl 35 pep needs more world-class defenders city won't win champions league with the defense always conceded goals against top european teams jensen hickey says hello hello uh Ivar, have we signed isco we've been <laughs> while we've been live i think we've signed isco his little brother his grandson and everyone else we've signed from isco we are not going to be having Silver and Isco, City having a disco. It ain't going to happen, guys. Let's give it up. I think Isco's agent is hoping it happens. It isn't happening. Um, we want it all, says Ion Beats. Yep, we probably do. Leonard London, Champions League, always been a farce, and it will be Premier League any day, exactly. To Harry Dawson, to build Dynasty, wouldn't a UEFA Champions League add to that? Wouldn't United have the upper hand then? United have the upper hand to what? United have the upper, upper hand to what? You know, I mean, I'll throw it back to you, Harry. What would you prefer? The UEFA Champions League or the Premier League? You know, someone needs to tell me, and you're on here, Harry. Tell me why the Champions League is so important when you don't have to be the best to win it. You lost two or three cup games, uh, league. you lost two or three group games last year. Against, I think it was Red Star, Belgrade, and other. Are they better than you? They beat you on a one-off game. That's what you did. You know, 38-game marathon. That's what matters. You need to go back to the old style, not this crap. Money spinning. You know, I finished 17th in the league. I'm coming in the Champions League. Crap that they run out with. And that's why City fans don't give a shit about it, I'm just going to swear I am because it really winds me right up that this Champions League is the best in the world, would we like to win it? Of course we would does it mean the world to us? No because it is absolute crap simple as I don't care about, about oh well, you know, it makes you look good and you go on this world country club or whatever else, yeah, and you, get, and you mess up when you can't win the Carabao Cup, like Liverpool, because they have to prioritise. Crap. Premier League, any day. Do it over a 38-game season. Don't do it because a VAR decision can stop, you know, get you through. Nah, sorry, load of garbage. My little rant over anyway. Um, call me arrogant, but LFC will battle it in April. Hope so. And uh, so, Premier League or Champions League, your shout. Exactly. I'm assuming that's to you, Harry. Uh, Leonard London, breaking news. I just signed for City. <laughs> uh, Ivor is going linked again today. He has been. I wasn't going to mention it because I'm sick to death of it being mentioned, Ivor. But yes, we've been linked with Isco today. Section Isco will manage City before he plays for us. <laughs> His school son will play for City before he does. Um, either the Champions League matters to Scousers more because they get away with more theft in Europe, simple as. <laughs> either I on beats Premier League, but I think this current team deserves the Champions League. And like I said, I'm not adverse to not winning it, but don't it's to me, it's not important. We win it, we win it, we don't, we don't. Section either uh, London, London, Champions League, you sell through group stage, a little bit of luck. By a bias ref and final group, exactly. Um, trying to ultimately is what the fans say, couldn't agree more. Martin, thanks very much, pal. Uh, just my obviously opinion. Uh, JTR 35, I want a quadruple, the ultimate way to shut any city haters up. They're never going to shut up, that's the problem. They're never going to shut up because we win the Champions League, we'll abort it. You're never going to shut them up because we're hated. Fine. Do, do we care? No. We're hated and we're not liked and we're jealous. Because we win trophies. When we were back in the old second division league, when it is now, everyone was, oh, Man City are my second favourite team. I'd love them to win a trophy. Now we're winning trophies. They don't want to know us. Well, do you know what? Kiss my you know what. 
sounding very uh, angry tonight, aren't I? It's wound me up a little bit. Harry Dawson, the Champions League just gives extra exposure, excited to win. It's open, but it's open cup games, exactly. Just said it, cup games. Previews can beat other teams abroad, and also big foreign clubs would take the Champions League over their league. Fine, your opinion. But so you're telling me when Barcelona go and play in Kazakhstan, that's exciting. Uh, Edward Denham, Andy, the sole of my shoe has just collapsed, not having a day after cutting my thumb off as well. Edward Denham, Martin, yes, what? Yes, Edward. GTR35, even a quadruple, Martin. I'd like a quadruple, but again, I'm not, I'll sacrifice the Champions League for the Premier League all day. Section, the lie about play the best teams in Europe. Trope, that's bollocks though. Only an actual league would do that, exactly. <clears throat> I think that's where we're going to end up. We're going to end up in the European Super League. That's when we'll see who the best is. Leonard London, Liverpool fans talk Champions League because 30 years, no Premier League, exactly. Channel, I live it, I... Uh, I presume that means I love it when we do the Champions League intro. A bunch of elites pulling the puppet strings from one end and stealing the love of the game. Harry Dawson, you have Champions League or FA Cup then? <laughs> You're not giving it up, are you, Harry? You're not giving it up. I'll give it you for your determination. So, Harry, you tell me. Answer me this question because you haven't done it yet unless I've missed it. Champions League... Or Premier League for you, Harry. Which one would you prefer? Uh, Andy Martin's missing my post. I've not missed any of your posts. Oh, yes, I have. Sorry, Andy. Champions League is nothing more than a cup competition. Give me the Premier League every day of the week. What's the World Cup crap all about? Klopp thinking that I can disrespect in England Cup competition. What a twat. I apologise. Apologise to the boss, man. Anyway, guys, it's been nice knowing you. It will be my last vlog ever. <laughs> uh, I on beats. I think we as fans need to think about what our players might want. A Champions League for David Sendoff would be nice for him. Yeah, it would, but... Yeah, I don't know. Edward Denham, we saw it last weekend. One injured salad and the scouts is about to bin dipping. <laughs> Ivar City have beaten every top European club in recent years. Just thought I would throw that one out there. Exactly. Section FA Cup is the oldest cup competition in the world. It is. Uh, Leonard and uh, Martin is the boss. <laughs> I'm not the boss. Andy is the boss. Um, Harry, I'd take the Premier League over the Champions League since we ain't won it. But once we have, I'd rate them both equally, to be honest. Why? Why would you rate it equal? Tell me. Tell me, please. I'm, I'm flabbergasted at that. He ain't Leonard. <laughs> One day, you never know. Leonard London, yeah. Either the current Champions League uh, failed to beat... The champ current Champions League champions failed to beat the Premier League champions home or away last season. Exactly. But you're the best in the world. You're not the best in England. You're not the best in the North West. Uh, Chan, any update on Angelino? Um, yes, apparently Angelino is not as badly injured as we first thought, um, which is good. We're only looking at two or three weeks, apparently. So, we'll wait and see with that one. Um, but you never know. We'll have to see. So, that with Edward Den and Ryan Curry, where are you? <laughs> Watching EastEnders Omnibuses. Right, guys. Next one. Transfer news. Haaland. Apparently City have been linked with this kid again. Apparently City are going to challenge Manchester United for his signing. Apparently it's also been uh, explained that Juventus are very close to buying him. But other sources have agreed that United are also close. As well as ourselves now. So... I think Andy's mentioned this kid a thousand and one times. Would you want him? And if you want him, is he going to take over the Aguero role? Because that's presuming where you're going with it. Is he going to take over the Aguero role? I don't know. Um, yes, he's scoring goals. He's scoring goals, in my opinion, a pub league. Or uh, maybe... No, nah. That might be a bit disrespectful. Not quite a pub league, but he's not in one of the top leagues in Europe. So, I always worry. I mean, I know there was... He called Jovic, who was at Germany, went over to Real Madrid. He's not pulling any trees up. 
just you know it's such a big jump coming from um, a middle of the road team to go to a top European team totally different totally totally different and yes he might have done it um, in the odd Champions League game scored at Anfield scored some good goals but is he going to score 20 30 goals a season you don't know and they're already talking either 80 million 90 million for this kid wow you know, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure way too much money out. for me. Mbappe, I'd rather spend two hundred million and get Mbappe. Proven goal scorer, world class forward. Bring him in. That'd be my Aguero replacement, not Haaland. But let me know what you guys think. Unless you're really bored of Haaland now, because I know I'm getting to that point. <laughs> Let's get back in. Um, but he's a bloody good presenter. <laughs> what are you after? And he's after something here. I'm going to get a message later on if he wants something. Uh, thank you very much, And uh, Leonard London, love Premier League. Champions League is a bonus simple. Exactly. He's trick-or-treating. <laughs> oh, I love that section. Yeah, Ryan's gone trick-or-treating up in Carlisle's way. He's not here. Scott Williams, exactly section. I take FA Cup over the institution that is your way for not saying away for uh, FA is in perfect but the better it's better of two evils exactly leonard london he's all right and uh <laughs> cheers mate cheers leonard <laughs> uh iron beats why the f would he go to the rags because money speaks money talks section highland will be the new isco exactly uh edward denham i would take highland if jesus moved on but we don't provide enough crosses for a player like him exactly uh iron beats to play in the championship is, is he that good? I'm not sure. Might have missed my post again. Maybe not. I have not missed any of your posts. And they don't you start again. Stop it. Edward Denham Martin, will you be watching the Rugby World Cup final? Um, probably, yeah. Rugby's not my ideal sport, even though people have said I should play it. But it's not. So, yeah, I'll be watching the final. I'm not. Uh, it's not my love. Not my first love. Football's my first love, but there we go. Uh, Leonard London, Martin is uh, Martin is us, and Martin is is us. And uh, <laughs> Mingyi Wong is Martin doing Halloween. Halloween what? No, not taking my child out trick or treating. He's nine, too old for that. Uh, and they said it two years ago. Rashford under Pep would be world, would be world class. <laughs> and one thing I will say. What a great goal from uh, Rashford last night. Tremendous goal. I was shocked he, he could even do that. Um, but yeah, I I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest here. Ma I think Martial would be world class under Pep. Martial would be class. Um, Edward Den and Martin. I'm not sure if he'd be a world class centre forward. Maybe you could play left wing. Who's that? Are we talking what Rashford or? Who do you mean, Edward? I don't know who do you mean. Um, I, but I think if Angelino was still at the Etihad now, he would st he would not have put a decent cross in the box. Guys, just while you're on, I want to let me just bring it up. I'm just going to um, bring something up. I had an email today from one of you. I'm not sure if they're on. I don't think they're on tonight but i'm just going to bring it up i have had an email and i will just read it out to you now thank you very much um just bear me one moment uh da, 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 da. let me look ah kenwood gag there it is i don't think he's on tonight um kenwood sent me an email um uh, regarding leroy sane um and I'm just going to throw it out there. What are your thoughts on this? Leroy Sane. What do you think about Leroy? Apparently, Bayern Munich president has been giving it that again. Apparently, they want... Um, they think they can get Sane for under 100 million. Probably can. I'm not going to disagree with that. But they need to stop talking now. Um, City have apparently opened the negotiations. Not us. Uh, not them. Apparently, we've gone back to them. But I just want to get your opinions. Are we bored of this? Leroy Sane saga. Yeah, I, I think I've had it up to air with it. I mean, can we gag? Thank you so much for the email, Buddha. That is really, really good. Um, but yeah, you're giving me a couple of incidents. Um, a couple of media 
clip it. It's about uh, the Leroy Sine saga. So yeah, tell me what you think. I, and I did reply to him. If a player has had a contract on the table for over 12 months and it is unsigned and we have upped his wage as well twice, offers, still not signed, what's making you think he's going to sign? To me, he's not. And for someone like that, I'd, I'd get rid. My honest opinion, I'd get rid. Let's just get in. Sorry, that's my little bit. So that's why I'd thank Camly Guy for his email. Um, I, I think if Angelino was still at the SZ now, he would he would not have put a decent cross in the box. Why, Bob? Did you watch the game on Tuesday? He put in some belting crosses, Angelino. And they also did against Watford as well. Uh, got a can't agree with you there, Ivor. Leonard London flop moaning. What about flop moaning? What about Carabao Cup moaning again? Um, because of the congestion with the fixtures. Uh, LAMFY without any signings for the next few years. I assure, I assure you, we're still gonna hit. We're still gonna hit them. Um, hit what? What we're hitting? Have I, have I missed something here? What we're hitting? <laughs> what we're hitting um, at um, Lamphere, I don't know. Edward Denham, yeah, Rashford. Uh, also agree, Masters will class, just my opinion, I think he would. Uh, either I got slated on Twitter last month saying Rashford would, would, would be class for City's quality. I still prefer uh, Martial. Edward Denham, Leroy has to stay unless Sanchez comes back. I did talk about that last night. Yeah, I would. If you're going to sell sign and bring Sancho back, and I think you get the better player, my opinion. He won't have to play with attitude, hopefully. Edward Denham, however, Raheem's form has taken pressure from our other wingers. It has. Leonard London, well, Sani doesn't come out saying anything, says it all. There we go, GRTL 35. Joe Felix, 130 million. Sane, 150 million minimal. Felix didn't have 12 months on his contract, though, GRTL. Yeah. GRTL 35, he didn't have a 12 months on his contract. Sane is only going to have 12 months on his contract come the summer, 18 months from January. You're not going to get the proper valuation of the player. You're not going to, you're going to get less, a lot less. You know, ask Arsenal. They've done it all the time. So I agree he's probably worth that. You're not going to get that though. Scott Williams, Sane, he's gone, he's gone. Time to move on. In my opinion, rather have a settled dressing room. Look at what Jesus did. Come out straight away to say it was a lie. He says it all about his attitude. Brilliant. Exactly. Gabriel said it was bull. BS straight away. So, there we go. Kraber's on. Hi, Martin. How are you doing, Kraber? Hope you're good, buddy. Edward Denham. Hi, Kraber. Uh, and uh, off to please, please, please. Worth 3k by all accounts, Ivo. Off to please, 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 worth three k by all accounts, either. I'm, I'm, I'll totally miss something there. <laughs> right, guys, I, I, that's nearly an hour. Um, I am going to shoot in a moment. Um, so, thank you very much again for being an absolute fantastic subscribers you're amazing all of you i love you all and um, i will let you know that i am not here at the weekend so you won't see me at the game on saturday andy will be there on his own well, not on his own with you lot and um, i'm not here i'm um i'm at a family event this weekend so i'm having a uh i'd rather be at the city game if i'm honest but there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm not here this weekend. So I hope you all have a fantastic time at the game. I'm going for... I said 4-1 in my predictions. I'm changing it. I'm going 6-0. I'm changing it. I'm going 6-0. That doesn't mean I'm changing it, Ryan Cottage. Don't change it in predictions. Just keeping it as 4-1 in my prediction league. But I'm going to go 6-0. So yes, I'm not here. So guys, get over. Have a look at the... Um, FIFA video by Kian, please give that a like, a share, give it a thumbs up, um, prediction video um, for the Premier League is up, give that a like and a share as well guys, um, we're just going to go into your final few comments, um, and uh, City battering Southern on Saturday, come and chat to me, exactly, I'll be over at Blue Moon Cafe guys, Ivan knows what I mean, <laughs> Having their own little private conversation, them two. They're like long lost lovers. Either Angelino isn't for me. Second string cut player way behind Zinni and Mende. 
I think he's better than Zinchenko, far better than Zinchenko. Not as good as Mender, gave me there either, but no. Zinchenko's garbage, if you want my honest opinion, at left back. At left back. Uh, Leonard City better deal for a top defender or swap for Sane. Up so Edward Denning Martin, take care, pal. Hope your cats don't scratch you too much. No, they won't, pal. Either at Man City Van TV, all depends on pressing and condition, pal. Uh, perfect original mate uh, going for 5 0 Kraber GTR 35 6 0 Aguero scores 5 break on Reese record as a foreigner hope so Iron Beats have a great weekend mate so happy I finally caught you on a live stream not a problem but uh, glad to have chatted with you um, Kraber Sergio hat trick Leonard London's 3 0 would do it for me a win's a win isn't it guys uh, Iron Beats I reckon he will rest Aguero this weekend Andy will be back. Um, I think he's back tomorrow. Um, I will see you. I'm thinking out of my head. I'm here Monday night. Is it Monday? I will let you know anyway. I'll be back next week. <laughs> I said I'm not here. Um, I'm up in the Lake District this weekend. So guys, have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. I will probably be on the live vlog commenting tomorrow. So um, if anyone wants to send me any emails, send them over at the in the description somewhere, it's Martin MCFC. Let's see if I can put it in there for you. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Fan TV at gmail.com. And then, obviously, if you want anything else, you can send that to Andy as well. So guys, they're in there for you. Let us have a look at your final few comments. Do, do, do. GTR, Sergio Hattrick also breaks Shader record up. So, Leonard London, rest sterling this weekend. Craig, enjoy the lakes. I will do, put it. Uh, Leonard London, cheers everyone. Guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Give the video a like, a thumbs up and share. We're well over 10,000 now, guys. Keep us going, keep us pushing. It's for the fans, by the fans. Remember that, always for you. Section night, everyone. Have a good one. I will. Guys, have a fantastic time. Enjoy the game Saturday. Up the blues and let's enjoy. Have a great time, guys. Bye.